tell me, what is a recess appointment and what's the authority for it? The authority is in the Constitution, but it was designed only to assure that uh, the government can run efficiently. It wasn't designed as a way of circumventing the power of the Senate to either confirm or fail to confirm a nominee. And there are at least three justices on the current Supreme Court, including the Chief Justice, uh, who has raised doubts about whether or not a uh, whether a president can use a recess appointment to circumvent uh, the will of the Senate. And so if the president uh, decides to use uh, these kinds of uh, interim appointments, this case is going to be taken to the Supreme Court. All right. So the Senate sometimes goes out of session. So that would be the recess. So they couldn't confirm um, they couldn't confirm a nominee. But OK, so tell me this. What's the difference between a recess appointment and someone who the president names as sort of like acting secretary of state or acting attorney general? Well, an acting person is called acting, whereas a recess appointment you're the attorney general of the United States and have all the powers. Look, these both these processes are intended to uh, solve an emergency. To remember, at the time the Constitution was passed, you had to go to Washington by horse and buggy, and the president couldn't just call the Senate to session, or the president of the Senate couldn't call the president. To session. It would take sometimes weeks and months, and uh, the government would be without important, say, secretaries of state or secretaries of the army. It was never intended uh, by the framers of the Constitution to give the president the power to circumvent the uh, power of the Senate to either confirm or not confirm nominees. And if President Trump decides to use this power to uh, nominate uh, nominees who might not get uh, 50 votes, uh, the case will be taken to the Supreme Court. And it's entirely possible the Supreme oh. Court will put limits on that power. But just so, I'm, just, just so I'm clear, is that, you know, we have recess appointments and, and every and presidents have been doing it for a long time. But I but oftentimes someone is like, said, say, the attorney general uh, resigns and then the, there's an acting attorney general who has the same authority. So it seems to me that in, in some ways the recess appointment and the acting are the same, but no one squawks about when there's an acting. Well, they should. Uh, if an acting uh, appointment lasts for two years, which of uh, uh, an appointment could last because under the Constitution, it's until the next session of Congress, you could fill um, a vacancy. And indeed, right now, they're not vacancies. They're going to be appointments that are being done at the beginning of the administration. And I just don't think that the framers of the Constitution intended a new president to be able to circumvent the congressional will. Um, and so uh, I hope that uh, President Trump makes his nominations, let them go to committees, and let them go to confirmation. Um, you know, if the, if the confirmation process takes too long and the national security is at risk, then you can make um, uh, interim appointments of various sorts. But that's not what's happening here. OK, so right now we have a president-elect. So he has no, no authority until January 20th. And we're That's probably right. going to have some sort of recess between December and January when the new Congress meets. So what we're talking about is that after the Republican Senate takes, after the Republicans take control of the Senate with a Republican president in it, that it, in some ways it seems like an academic discussion for me, because for the most part, you would expect that Senate Republicans who will control the Senate will, will, um, will acquiesce or agree with the, with the president's ap appointment. Would you not agree with that? That's fine. And if that happens, that's what the Constitution intended. But if you get a situation, hypothetically, let's assume there's a guy named Getz who's nominated to be attorney general, and they lose uh, the possibility of four Republicans. Not saying this is going to happen, but it could happen. Uh, and then the president says, well, I'm just going to I'm just going to use the Constitution and get the uh, 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 majority leader of the Senate to declare a recess, and then I'll name gets. That's the kind of case that will get to the Supreme Court. And you have at least then, three who have doubts okay. about that. People think news just happens. It doesn't. It happens because there's someone there to capture the moment, to explain it and share it. That's my job. I go where news breaks and gives you the facts. Join me for the record on Newsmax.